Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Welcome. We will continue with blocking and confounding in 2 to the power k design, 2 to the power k factorial design. So, if you um, recall my last two lectures where we have discussed the concept of blocking and confounding in 2 to the power k design with an example. So, finally, I have shown you that 2 to the power 3 I think 4 minus 1 uh, that design. So, I have this minus 1 for blocks. So, I have shown I have shown you a case where 4 factors 4 factors 2 to the power 4 16 treatment combination treatment combinations and we have shown you that we use 2 blocks two blocks. So, that is why power that is why that design was basically power block half 2 to the power 4 equal to the power 4 minus 1 2 to the power 3 experimental run power block experimental runs power block. Okay. And, and <coughs> with single replication Mm, a, a case with one block and with two blocks the results were shown and the with probability probability plot it was demonstrated that what are the factors that are significant and how you will come uh, compute the errors and all those things ok experiment uh, the or the example was given in such a manner that you know previously what is the block effect and then the how the block is confounded with higher order interactions and from there we have shown with block and without block uh, the higher effect of higher estimate of the higher order effect like in this case abcd and it is shown that shown that actually in such such design situation uh, it uh, they are they are confounded and that that confounding effect is clearly visible that is what we have shown now <coughs> we'll continue with this but with instead of two blocks if we go for to the power p blocks what will happen so to the power k design to the power with to the power p blocks. So, your if you use 2 blocks then your p equal to 1. If you use 4 blocks your p equal to 2. So, that means, the observation power block power block each to the power k minus p. Okay. So, that been observation power block here in p equal to 1 it is 2 to the power k minus 1 or 1 half of 2 to the power k here 1 fourth of 2 to the power k. Okay. So, this is what is the things we have. Um, discuss so far. particularly I have I have talked to you about this much P equal to 2. Now, when you have more number of factors suppose let there are 5 factors A, B, C, D and E even each with at 2 levels what you require you have 2 to the power 5 equal to 32 treatment combinations. So, it may so happen that 
only nor if it is the case of raw material let it be the two batches of raw material different batch will not be sufficient because they are not able to accommodate all those grants 16 per batch so you may require four batches so eight per batch so that means what you are doing you are basically making to the power 5 by 8 i think it is to the power 5 8 per batch so that means you are you you, you you are dividing this by 4 so that you will get to the power 3 which is 8 so that means you are making it to the power 5 minus 2 kind of design with blocking and where we using four if this is possible using four blocks so so that means what is the in, in case of two to the power k minus 1 where you are using two blocks you 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 require one higher order effect to be confounded higher order effect to be confounded with blocks when you are going for to the power k minus 2 these two you require two higher order effects to be two higher order effects will be confounded ok. So, that means in order to assign which of the treatment combination to be assigned to which of the blocks as you have seen earlier that you require to know which effects to be confounded in one uh, in two to the in two blocks case we say the highest order interaction that to be confounded then what will happen to to the in this case when two higher order effect they may be highest and then next lowest one that there will be several combinations so you can choose any one of them or depending on your that uh, domain knowledge you may find out that some of the higher order interactions may not be a highest order, but they have least significance. So, in that case you choose any two of them, but you have to choose two. When one higher order effect is confounded, you have one defining release contrast L when you have two <coughs> higher order effects to be confounded you have two defining contrast contrast maybe l1 and l2 so in this lecture first i will show you how the four blocks case will be constructed Okay. So, let me read out it is possible to construct to the power k factorial designs confounded in four blocks of to the power k minus 2 observations each. These designs are particularly useful in situations where the number of factors is moderately large and block sizes are relatively small. Situation is you have more number of factors, but your resource is less in amount like raw materials per batch can accommodate less number of runs or less number of experimental runs can be completed. For example, consider to the power 5 design with 8 runs in each block and 2 effects a D E and B C E confounded with blocks which have two defining contrast L 1 and L 2. 
okay so let me explain now so we have a b c d and e that is five factors okay suppose you think that that a d e and your b c e these are the two higher order interactions to be confounded with block so how many defining relation suppose for ade it is l1 and for bce it is l2 two defining relations so we know that the l equal to alpha 1 x1 alpha 2 x2 so like this alpha k xk in this case k equal to 5 so this will be alpha 1 x1 alpha 2 x2 alpha 3 x3 alpha 4 x4 plus alpha 5 x5 now then what is l1 in l1 in l1 our defining uh, that uh, factors to be confounded is this so then our l1 equation will be alpha 1 a is there so x1 plus b c is not there only d is there so alpha 4 x 4 plus e is there the fifth one alpha 5 x 5 hmm. and in this case this both alpha 1 alpha 4 alpha 5 they are basically assuming 1 so we can write this x 1 plus x 4 plus x 5 similarly for l 2 which is b c e we can write l 2 equal to x 2 plus x 3 plus x 5 ok. So, now what you require you require to assign blocks what way the blocks will be assigned. So, now for for l 1 also suppose how many effects are there here 2 to the power 2 to the power 5 design. So, that means 32 effects starting from 1 a p a b that sense a b c d e so many treatment combinations and so many effects ok. So, how do you assign this many treatment combination to the four blocks we have seen earlier that whatever l value you got we basically converted into suppose let it be uh, m mod 2 kind of things and then we found out that this one will take 0 or 1 value and accordingly one block will be assigned to all treatment combination where this value is 0 and another treatment com another uh, another another all other will be to this. So, now so that means for a for the two defining contrast will give us 2 cross 2 4 different combinations for the treatments to be assigned to blocks means if I consider L 1 this 0 and 1 and L 2 also 0 and 1. So, then what is happening here you see you are getting a situation situation like this where this is L 2. So, L 1 0 L 2 0 L 1 equal to 0 L 2 equal to 1 l 1 equal to 1 and l 2 equal to 0 l 1 equal to 1 l 2 equal to 1. So, that means our assignment four blocks. So, block 1 it will be l 1 0 and l 2 0 those many things will go to block 1. Now, block 2 will be l 1 equal to 1 and l 2 equal to 0 block 3 l 1 equal to 0 
L 2 equal to 1 and block 4 let it be both 1, 1 and 1. Okay, so, this is the way you can assign that 4 blocks to different treatment combinations and accordingly you do conduct the experiments. So, using this concept what you are getting you see that block 1 is assigned to 1, 2, 3, 4 plus 4, 8 treatment combination they are different than block 2, different than block 3, different than block 4. So, as I told you that there will be 32 treatment combination and all those treatment combinations are assigned in this manner. So, this is this is what is the generalization of the case. So, you can you can even you can go for to the power 6 minus 3 also. So, in that case to the power 8 different blocks will be used and you require basically in that case basically three different defining contrast and and accordingly you proceed and first you assign uh, the treatment combinations for blocks and conduct experiment get the data and use the analysis the way we have explained earlier. Okay. So, the generalization is now confounding the 2 to the power k factorial design in 2 to the power p blocks. So, construction of a 2 to the power k factorial design confounded in 2 to the power p blocks where each block contains exactly 2 to the power k minus p runs. We select p independent effects to be confounded where by independent we mean that no effect chosen is the generalized interaction of the others. The block may be generated by use of p defining contrast because the it is a 2 to the power into the power p blocks power. So, L 1 to L p associated with these effects in addition exactly 2 to the power p minus p minus 1 other effects will be confounded with blocks these being the generalized interactions of these p independent uh, effects initial is chosen. Okay. So, now see that what we are what we mean. Uh, by to the, uh, the to the power p minus p minus 1 other effects which are actually confounded, uh, confounded these are these are these are the case. Suppose you wish to construct this to the power 6 design confounded into the 3 8 blocks to the power runs each in that case suppose a b e f a b c d and a c e 3 independent effects to generate the blocks the remaining to the power p minus 4 effects that are confounded with these are given here. So, a b c a b e f and a b c d and a c e these are the three three interactions which are basically confounded with blocks. Now, that will basically create another um, four effects to be uh, confounded. For example, if you multiplied A B E F into A B C D. So, this is compounded with block, this is also compounded with block. The multiplication will give you A square B square C D E and F and this will become one I. So, that means, this is giving you C D E F this is the other one which is also confounded. Second one suppose a u multiplied a b e f into a c e. Third one a b c d into a c e and fourth one a b c d a c e and a b e f. So, all those things suppose this will give you b c f, this will give you b d e and this will give you a d f. So, these are the other four factors effects not factors these are other four effects which are confounded 
confounded with blocks. Not only A B E F, A B C D or A C E, this general structure will give you another to the power p minus p minus 1. So, here p is 3, so to the power 3 minus 3 minus 1, so that means 4. So, 1, 2, 3, 4 other effects. Not only the 3 p equal to 3, so 3 plus 4, 7 uh, different uh, higher order effects, interaction effects, they are confounded with blocks. What does it mean? Those effects cannot be estimated uniquely. Okay. So, this is the general things, please keep in mind. Now, a table that suggested blocking arrangement for 2 to the power k factorial design. So, you if your number of factors 3 to more and then how many blocks you want to use and then what will be the block size. So, if there are 3 factors number of block if it is 2 then block size will be 4 means 4 observations per block. If you if you want to use 4 blocks then it will be in block size will be 2 and then ultimately you in order to create those block in order to assign the treatment combination to these different blocks you must have the uh, generating principle that means the effect to be confounded. So, in case of 3 factors 2 blocks A B C is usually the interaction which is confounded with blocks. If it is 4 blocks then A B and A C can be confounded okay. and 4 blocks when, uh, you can choose A B C D. 4 factors 2 blocks you can choose A B C D to uh, generate blocks in the same way because there are these are these, these are these are the some examples given to you that what are the what way you can do. So, depending on the number of factors depending on the number of blocks to be chosen the block size will ultimately be different or the block size will will mention well, will will dictate that what will be the number of blocks to be chosen, but you please, please keep in mind the from analysis restriction point of view you have to choose 2 to the power p blocks means a multiple of 2 allege not that 2 to the power 1 equal to 2 blocks 2 to the power 2 equal to 4 blocks like this not that you will use 3 blocks 5 blocks it should be a 2 to the power p kind of things. Okay. So, this is the this is a guideline. So, and when you conduct experiment please follow this guideline uh, with blocking. Okay. Now, we will discuss something uh, in the blocking uh, actually which is basically known as partial confounding. Okay. So, let us see uh, this slide just you see that uh, what are the things written on the slide. So, there are 4 replications replicate 1 to 4 and you see in the first replicate A B C is confounded, in the second replicate A B is confounded, in the third replicate B C is confounded, in the fourth replicate A C is confounded. So, what are the advantage of such replicate such confounding? So, information on A B C now can be obtained from replicates 2, 3 and 4. Replicates 2, 3 is 4 are not confounded with A B C. Similarly, information on A B can be found out replic from using replicate 1, 3 and 4 and B C can be found out with replicates 1, 2 and 4 and A C can be found out with replicate 1, 2 and 3. So, that means, this is this is a, this is a separate kind of arrangement. You require suppose that 4, four different replicates may be 4 blocks and you can confound you know, with different effects. So, as a result you have partial information for uh, for the for those the effects that are already confounded with some of the replicates. 
So, what happened in this case you see that three quarter information can be obtained on the interaction because they are unconfounded in, in only three replicates. This type of design is called partially confounded design. Okay. Now, let us see one example here. So, it is a it is basically the plasma etching process there are three factors A, B and C this also we have seen in the book of Mandgumari. Uh, we have taken material from his book only and the response variable is the each rate. Suppose that only four treatment combination can be tested during a shift because there could be shift to shift differences in choosing uh, in the each rate uh, I think the tool performance itching tool performance the experimenters decide to use shifts as a blocking factor. So, how many shifts three shifts. So, three blocks thus each replicate of the to the power 3 design must be run in two blocks. Two replicates are run with A B C confounded in one and A B confounded in two the data are shown below. You what the case is that you have three factors, you have three shifts and in each shifts suppose four treatment possible. So, in that case you use shift 1 as replicate 1, shift 2 is replicate 2 and again you can use shift 3. So, no problem, but here what happened that uh, two replicates one A B C confounded and another A B confounded are basically used here. Now, when A B C confounded these are the responses under different treatment combination when A B confounded these are the these are the responses under different treatment combinations. And you know if A B C confounded then how to find out the replicate and uh, A B confounded also how to find out the uh, replicates. Okay. So, that means, here what happened you see that under from here you can find out A B and from here you can find out the A B C estimates. So, suppose S S A B C if you want to find out this is what is basically the formula for find out the sum square ABC and you see what you are using what from where, where, from where you are using the data A A is 650 you see here A is 650 601601 uh, then 1052 1052 so that means you are using information from replicate 2 to find out SSABC you are using replication uh, using information from replicate 1 to find out SSAB. So, that means, it is it is helping you to find out the, the information or the statistics needed for those effects which are already confounded with some of the replicates. Okay. And you also find out that uh, that SS replications because replication wise that the confounding is different and replication wise also there is and there is different. So, replication is also contributing uh, towards uh, the sum squares. Okay. So, this is this is what uh, the way uh, the partial confounding is done and the way the calculation is made. So, now the sources of variation is changed. See early in the starting point when we start with to the power k factorial design we say that sources of variations are the main and interaction effects of the factors and error. When we introduced blocks we said that these plus blocks. Okay. So, now what happened when we uh, um, introduce this kind of partial confounding case that replicates uh, are confounded with different uh, effects. So, then replicates is another source of variation. So, your inevitable all those source of variations to be included their sum square and degrees of freedom to be computed then you do the, the F test for 
what for the effect parameters we are least interested with the replicates and blocks we are interested in the effect of parameters because controlling the the blocks and the replicates effect you are estimating the effect parameters and more precisely actually importantly here what is happening the error value computation is changing error SS and everything is changing the degree of freedom is changing. So, eventually the F0 values for all the factors main effects and interaction effects they are also changing their p value is changing and their uh, the significance levels is also accordingly changing and you have to find out which one is significant and which one is not significant. From this we found that the main effects of AC and AC uh, interactions are important using this p value. So, thank you very much. Uh, I told you that uh, this is chapter 7 from Montgomery and it is basically to, to just uh, summarize that we say that we are talking about 2 to the power factorial design um, from, for, uh, from last few lectures and in the last three lectures we introduced and uh, the blocking and confounding concept confounding concept in in 2 to the power k factorial design and we have explained that when blocking is important when why blocking is necessary and and also we have seen that due to blocking and uh, blocking under different situation how confounding takes place and under the blocking and confounding situation how do we you go you define um, different treatment combination to different blocks and then how do you estimate the uh, treatment uh, effects main and interaction effects and under this situation how the things are basically changing with reference to the error estimates and as a result the uh, the f value also uh, will change ok. So, all those things are very very important for experimental design and I am I am sure I am sure that uh, because of uh, these three lectures uh, you uh, will, will be in a position uh, to uh, do proper justification for when you actually perform such design in the laboratory level or at the field level field level maybe. So, if you have any questions and queries please use the forum. Uh, for which uh, we are there to help you and we got some of the questions and uh, we are replying to uh, all those <coughs> questions. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.